guys. Happy Saturday. I hope you all are having a cozy start to the weekend. It's pretty gloomy in here, um, but I know it's snowing like everywhere else in the country. So um, I actually really like this weather. It's just been nice and cozy. Um, I just did a plyometrics workout with my orange chisel. It's really good. And I loved it because it was only like 26 minutes. I was like, heck yeah. Um, got me some tea. Got my Christmas mug. Yes, we still have our Christmas tree up too. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit today about talking out what you struggle with in hopes of coming up with a solution. So yesterday, um, I had a light bulb moment with one of my clients slash patients. And he struggles with his eating and he says he relies a lot on fiber one bars and 100 calorie snack packs. And um, he wasn't really sure what he was doing wrong. But as he was talking about um, that he relies on those bars and fiber one and all of the 100 calorie like Oreos and things like that, he was like, well, you know, I used to snack more on like apples and oranges and nuts. And now I'm relying a lot on like the packaged foods. And I was like, yeah. And I said, I just planted a little light bulb. I said, you know, there's sugar in fiber one too, but at least the sugar in fruits and vegetables are natural sugars and they come with so many other benefits like vitamins, antioxidants, minerals, fiber. Um, whereas the fiber one bars are basically like processed fiber with sugar. And he was like, you know, after talking this out with you, I'm going to give away all of my 100 calorie packs and I'm going to go back to eating my apples and nuts in my snack. I'm going to keep apples in my drawer at work. I'm going to keep nuts in my drawer at work. And he was like, oh my gosh, just talking about it just helped me come up with my own solution. And I thought that was so like profound because so many times we're told what to do and we're told to eat this way and not eat this way and work out this way. And this is the best thing for you. But really, you have to come to that conclusion on your own. Um, you can't do it for anyone else. You can't do it for your mom, your dad, your sister, brother, husband, wife, children. It really has to come from within. And until you want to change your habits, nothing is going to change. And I just felt so um, excited for this man who came up with his own solution to his problem. And I think talking it out is so important. And so don't be afraid to share your struggles. Don't be afraid to share something that you want to change and brainstorm with someone. I love doing that. So if you need someone to talk with, email me tavinerd at gmail.com or go to my blog tavinverano.com and you can send me a little message. I love talking about this kind of stuff. I love brainstorming with people, setting goals, coming up with ways for them to change their habits um, once and for all, lifestyle change, not just a quick fix. So I thought I'd share that little tidbit of motivation this morning. I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye.